Okay. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. We all have our skeletons in the closet, but not Serena. She was perfect. I'm not sure why, but I don't feel like opening it. The sole thought of it drains what little energy I have left in me. Maybe later. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. I'm a casual dresser. No need to change clothes right now. Don't think Serena would approve of me making an even bigger mess of the clothes in here. Maybe later. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. Okay, well... No, I don't want to leave right now. Oh. There's still something for me in here. I, I better stay in, in case Serena comes back. There's always a chance she might return. There's nothing for me out there. This door has been creaking for years. One of the many things I promised I would fix. I have this gut feeling that I shouldn't leave just yet. There's nothing for me out there. Okay, uh, then what am I supposed to do? It's a beautiful day, though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. It's deep into summer, so there's a few hours left until it gets dark. Sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. There's a crack in this window from a tantrum she threw some time ago. It wasn't the only thing she threw. Not exactly perfect soundproofing. The sunlight can be confusing, oppressive, as if pregnant with some ill omen. Or is the stress finally catching up with me? Sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. Okay, you can't look at the dream catcher. Oh, I didn't look at this yet. Ugh. Uh, well, okay. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. I think I see more than one. Yes. Blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. <clears throat> What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She also had a brush. I can't see it anywhere, nor some of her other personal items. It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket, new enough to still have all its teeth. Mm. Mm. She also had a brush, hers. I used it too, when shaving. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall-to-wall -wall mirrors, so <laughs> this came in handy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should I dust for fingerprints? I might if I were in a detective story. Okay. After all these years, it permanently smells of her and her perfume. The last thing I need now is to see myself in the mirror. I must look awful. There's dust on this, too. It's everywhere. After all these years, it permanently smells of her and her perfume. Commune Evidence, Serena's favorite perfume. Mm -hmm. 
I've always told Serena that she doesn't need to wear perfume. Her presence is magical enough already. It smells so elegant. There's violet leaf and silk tree blossom, I think. This perfume is perfect for Serena. Why didn't I ever notice? We were happy for a long time. At least, I think we were. But as time passed, we fought about every little thing, even this. I keep looking at her things, remembering all the good and bad. Depends on how you look at it. Either a wonderful sensory stimulant, an aphrodisiac, or a subtle weapon in the mating rituals of Homo sapiens. Okay. We were happy for a long time. At least, I think we were. Okay. But as time passed, mm -hmm. we fought about every little thing. Even this. What is this? What the? Wait, what? What is that? Was it, it looks like a... Hang on. This reminds me of something. I saw some videos of uh, sessions when I was down, like when I was on the site of uh, of another game these people made called <clears throat> called uh, what's it called again? Asylum. There was some like on the like on their website. Uh, what was it called? I don't remember. There's a recorder, and there's a dude sitting in a chair talking to a psychiatrist or something. Oh, okay. Well, doy. Okay. It's been so long since I said her name out loud. What? I think that's the moment I fell in love with her, when she told me... The soothing sound of her name. I didn't even... Did, did I even click? These keys are for the cabin and the car. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? We also have a key for the outhouse. But can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. We did have a night prowler once who left a mark inside the outhouse. But we rarely lock it anyway. I never noticed it before, but there's some rust on the ring. Huh, we should get a new one. We also have a key for the outhouse. Okay. Can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. What the... They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. <laughs> I'm generally not fond of taking medication. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals will do me much good in the long run. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your pill, hun. I know you'd rather not, but you know it's for the best. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. Mm hmm. I'm only supposed to take these before meals. Not a big fan of them. They do tend to alleviate my headaches, though. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. Okay, that's enough. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost, such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? 
how the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. <laughs> and then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guess when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you when we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. So glad to meet you. My name is Serena. Hmm. Oh, I know. Sorry about, like, somehow that being skipped again with the recording ending when I uh, didn't expect it to. Okay, so apparently there's... My heart is racing. I can't help but feel there's something I have to do. Why do you just say things whenever? Then what do you have to do? What, what am I... Oh, okay, I see I can't. Am I supposed Where to... Where is she? Oh. I guess I'm just supposed to wait. This door has been creaking for years. One of the many things I promised I would fix. If I could only remember what happened. I don't know what to do about this. Am I just supposed to wait until something happens or something or what? Because I don't get it. I'd give anything to look into her eyes again. To feel like that again. to keep magazines, paperback novels, usual stuff on these nightstands when we were staying here. Good night, love. She would always bring her reading material like I did. Why are these nightstands so empty? Dust everywhere. The amount of dust on it might make me hack up a lung. It's full of little scratches and gouges. Dust everywhere. I'm a casual dresser. No need to change clothes right now. So what am I expected to do? I feel too restless to sleep right now. Unlike its sibling, this lamp would last for months. We brought the lamps with us when we got this place all those years ago. They were from a garage sale. The sun is streaming through the window. No reason to turn this on. All these metaphors and similes in my head. Light of my life. Make light. Wait, that's another kind of light. A lamp is a lamp. 
but to a writer, every mundane item triggers connections, and that leads to more. It seemed like neither of us could bother to properly wipe the lampshades. All these metaphors and similes in my head, light of my life, make light. Wait, that's another kind of light. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. But we hated guns. So Am I supposed to do them, something? Even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. Am I missing something? I don't know what that's all about. <clears throat> There's something about this particular picture here. Cause that looks awfully creepy. Where? I can imagine her oh. cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. Yeah, great. Fantastic. The dining table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance. Oh. On many happy occasions. And there were many more to come. Ah. Uh, okay, I get it. I had to go around and try to remember everything. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used <coughs> an actual film camera. It was a My love. We don't have a lot of photos. The guy who snapped this. My love. We don't have a lot of photos. The guy who snapped this. My love. Uh, okay. What? How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her so much. That ticking, it never stops. I've wasted so much time in my life. Did I ever take a break to show her how much I truly cared? Actually, I think it might have gone out of sync again. As always, I automatically went to the window side, and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? Maybe if I go to sleep, I will wake up, and there she'll be, arms wrapped around me, a warm, a passionate touch. Sleep. It feels as if I've been awake for ages. I don't sleep well without Serena next to me. Both a blessing and a curse, I suppose. So, what do I do? Why? I might just as well stay here. I should really stay. I'm so tired, anyway. I prefer the darkness inside right now. I have this gut feeling that I shouldn't leave just yet. Ah, uh, then... Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning huh. to dust? Do you hear that? I heard crying. It... it's different. But that just... It Wait, can't be different. did her face change? Am I going mad? Somehow she looks sadder than I remembered. Could I really have been so wrong about that night? We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped it, my love. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. 
Actually, uh, I'm gonna have to end this video right here. So, uh, yeah, I'll continue it later. But for now, I, uh, now it's not really, uh, I mean, I think I've dragged on a little bit too long, so, yeah, because I don't like to upload, like, really long videos. So, I'm just going to finish up, like, uh, editing the next parts of the video, the next uh, part of the video, and I'll upload that sometime later. So, that's the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next